Greetings from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yesterday we hung out in Santa Fe and here in Albuquerque and we just loved it. It's beautiful. We had a great time and great food. And today we're making our way into Arizona and we have some very cool stops along the way, some things we're really, really excited for and to share with you. So let's hop in the car and get back on the road again. <laughs> the border into Arizona and there is a gorgeous rest stop here so we're gonna make a pit stop and also check it out there's some scenic views here it looks amazing just be careful poisonous snakes and insects inhabit the area Arizona Welcome Center here we are welcome to Arizona yeah. this is your first time here right this Sam? is my first time in Arizona I'm Yay. excited me too Something cool and historic. Look at all the cool signs here. And there it is up ahead, the historic Wigwam Motel. Let's check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Classic cars, yeah. These are rooms. The Wigwam Motel here was part of historic Route 66, as were many of the other locations around here and they still hold on to that identity and you can stay in these. They're actually teepees, but you know, it's a thing. Besides being on the National Register of Historic Places and obviously incredibly cool looking, this is also the inspiration for the Cozy Cone Motel in Cars. It's been in video games and movies, a lot of popular culture, some petrified wood. There's these old rusted cars That's here. Oh, cool! Visiting these places from on historic Route 66 that still hold on to that amazing theming. You can just imagine the time when Route 66, the mother road, was just a really popular road in America. Families would road trip across it and these tourist attractions were made to look amazing, to be awe-inspiring, to draw tourists in from the road. The theming and detail and fun, it's just, it, it's a different time. And it's cool that some of that still exists to look at. So Mater's grandpappy, that's cool. Oh wow, there's a big giant train. We've seen a ton of trains on the drive. Amazing, long trains. Here's the front wigwam motel. Have you slept in a wigwam lately? They are cleaning the rooms right now. I wonder if they'd let me take a quick look. Dear Mr. Paul Lewis, it is my pleasure to inform you that the wigwam village number six at 811 West Hoppy Drive in Holbrook was listed in the National Register of Historic Places on May 2, 2002. Are we allowed to look in? Yeah, come in. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Wow, it looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's really cool. Wow. It doesn't even like fit in a picture. It's so cool. There's like AC, a little bathroom. This is awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome. That's really cool. Definitely next time we come through, we're staying in there. It was so cool that we got to look in. They were so nice and they let us look in and it looks amazing. 
It's about noon right now and the shop inside doesn't open until three for check-in. So, but you can still walk around, explore. They let us look inside one of the wigwams and just to see it in person is so cool. It feels like you are walking through history and in a way, a cartoon. <laughs> When this opened in 1950, this was prime real estate. It was so much tourist traffic coming through that and it's amazing that it survived all this, all these years. And it's one of three locations of this that are still open. So if you can get to any of them, do it because it's worth it. Oh, and we can't see an Impala without thinking of the Winchester Bros, Sam and Dean, even though this is a different Impala. This is cool as heck though. Look at this design. Sleek. Look at that steering wheel. <gasps> I want to touch it. It says no though. Look at these little mirrors. Oh my God, Cruising down cool. Route 66 in this. <sighs> Solving mysteries. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool, Sam, to road trip in one of these? Would. So cool. Maybe one day. There's a lot of road trips planned in our future, so you never know. We're just walking around looking again and again because it just, yeah. That's a different kind of Batmobile, right? The Volt Smoke, the Batsmoke Volt. I don't know. I don't know. Well, this is absolutely awesome. And we have more awesome stops on the road today. So let's keep going. I'm so happy we got to see this in person with our own eyes. The cars definitely add to the atmosphere, you know? That's awesome to see. All right, let's keep going. There's more cool stuff to see, way more. All right, on to the next destination. <laughs> trip hat so here we go let's have a look around here is the jackrabbit that you can sit on to take photos and here's a little sign route 66 roadside attraction opened in 1949 tourists were drawn to stop and see what here it is was all about the marketing campaign placed mileage signs along the highway counting down the distance to the oversized jackrabbit and I read that there were signs all the way from Missouri to here hyping it up billboards all right, time for a photo. All right, there's a step over here. <laughs> Not, how do I, how the hell? Oh, I think I have to do this. It's actually bigger than it looks. <laughs> Good job. Ah, there it is. Woo, I'm riding a jackrabbit. <laughs> Hold on to your hat. <laughs> and here's the iconic, here it is sign. And you'll see a version of this in the Cars film. And it's just, you know, it's a piece of pop culture, Route 66, Americana, roadside history. Here it is, we made it. We found it. <laughs> Let's go inside and check it out. All right. We saw other people struggling to get on the Jackrabbit too, so. <laughs> Not just us. The steps are just really high, so. Well, they just say it's the world's largest Jackrabbit or something, didn't they? Something like that, yeah. Definitely seems like it. He's very cute. Look at the sign here. It's the jackrabbit on a motorcycle. Let's go and hop on into the shop and check it out. There's a lot of uh, Native American art everywhere. A lot of Route 66 stickers. Oh, okay. So that road that we just stood on is the old historic Route 66. That is cool. That yeah, the interstate is like right next to it all the time. Hi. Hi. Oh, and get some more of those Route 66 sodas. Oh, yeah, there we go. We like those, yeah. We have some of these books about different topics. There's a lot of cool stuff. Look at this stove. This is the Route 66 room and it says 
don't, oh, this is all classic vintage stuff. Wow, look at this map. Route 66, America's Highway. Okay, there's a guest book here. We are definitely gonna sign. We're not the only guests here. Four, 12, 24. Jackie and Sam cross country road trip 2024. Nice. Look at the collection of ceramic rabbits. And this must be the sign from back in the day. Look at this. He has a Rook 66 book and he's the one that, that brought him out on their, their initial tour to, to show them all about it and then to show all of us along the way who all was going to be in it and what, it, what their drawings oh, were and all that. That's so cool. That's the day they were here in the picture and then he sent us that later. I mean the cars line now, right? Yeah. <laughs> they have a signed uh, VHS too. <laughs> that's so cool. Look at these magnets. I love that. Awesome, that was so nice. We met Cindy and she was so cool. And when we left, she said, I love your enthusiasm. Yeah. <laughs> I love the that. Channel name very fitting. That was really fun. That was so fun. We that got some nice. shirts. Yeah. I got a new hat. You got a really nice hat. Yeah. You can't wear it though, because it's too windy. She said at Meteor Crater, it's so windy today that they might not be yeah. doing the tours, but we're still gonna. We're, gonna, we're still gonna walk. Around. Oh wait, that was the first time I mentioned we're doing that. We're doing that. <laughs> We saw some tumbleweed blow by. There it is. It literally tumbled across the road. We've only seen a few on this trip, but every time, it's cool. There's the Winslow sign. Visit Winslow, next right. Oh, we will. We will. Route 66, welcome to Winslow. How cute. Wow. Earl 66 Motor Court, so cool. Your destination is on the left. Look at this. Winslow Tricentennial Capsule, dedicated 1977 to be opened 2076. Everything's going to take it easy. Everything. <laughs> so cool murals everywhere, Route 66 signs. If you're familiar with the iconic Eagle song, Take It Easy, standing on the corner in Winslow, Arizona, there are a lot of people here with guitars taking photos on the corner, and we're going to do the same. I have a guitar, but you know. Check this out. What a cool photo spot. The official stand on the corner is over there. They are playing the Eagles here. Every shop is like cars themed and that Eagles song themed. Cool. So let's go stand on the corner. And here they've got our Route 66 path. And we're doing a bunch of the stops today. <laughs> And there he is, taking it easy. He is taking, there's the, there's the girl in the red Ford. And there's a sign here, it says, Route 66 Roadside Attraction, standing on the corner park, Winslow, Arizona, dedicated on September 11th, 1999, as a tribute to the memorable song that made Winslow, Arizona, a town to sing about on famous Route 66. Get your kicks. Cool photo spots here, and tons of people enjoying them. Awesome tribute to an awesome song and band and everything. Cool. So cool. Very fun. Eagle. Get it? As we're making our way out, there is another song that features Winslow, Arizona. Winslow! <laughs> you know also about Winslow, mm -hmm. there was a certain alien who wanted to get here. Hmm. We better hurry up to the next stop because we gotta get Starman where he needs to go to get. He's in the back. Oh, we yeah. gotta take we're him, taking him. Let's get <laughs> to up. get picked up. I thought you meant we were like the spaceship. I don't know. Yeah, we're just something. Let's go. Yep, in the film, it was a big train scene. It looked just like this. They took the train. It's such an iconic movie. If you have not seen it, you really need to. Very strange, but we are going to go 
go see the crater. The meteor. This looks like crater. Oh, we're almost there. I can see why people would want to use drones here, <laughs> but we're just gonna have to look from where we can look from. We made it to the visitor center. We're gonna go check in and start checking things out. It's very, very windy as you can see. Wow. It was $29 for both of us. There are presentations, all sorts of different things. We're gonna go and try to just get started. They said, hold on your sunglasses out there because it's too windy. Experience the impact. Welcome to Meteor Crater. So we are here. There are different viewing platforms. And hello. Apollo chest capsule, cool. From 1963 to late 1970, astronauts trained at Meteor Crater. This says Meteor Crater is the best preserved and first proven meteor crater on Earth. That's what we're about to see with our own eyes. The Holzinger meteorite is the largest discovered fragment of the 150 foot meteor that created Meteor Crater. And no tours because of high winds. 50,000 years ago, a meteor ripped through the skies over the land we now call Arizona Traveling at roughly 40,000 miles an hour, 11 miles per second, it smashed into the surface of the high plateau. Within a few seconds, the resulting massive explosion threw millions of tons of rock over the surrounding area, opening a crater at three quarters of a mile across and 700 feet deep. A shockwave of hurricane force winds flashed out in every direction, causing destruction for miles. Okay, this is our first look at it. This is just through a window. We're still gonna go out there. <laughs> but oh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> so when we get out there, we'll look for the flag and astronaut cutout that gives us a sense of scale and the size. Discover the crater. Here is one of the viewing platforms. Okay. It's so amazingly nice outside, even though the wind is... Whoa, that looks scary. Okay. Moon Mountain Telescope. Whoa. Oh my gosh, whoa. It's uh, one of those things you just gotta see to believe. I knew it was gonna be pretty big. It's absolutely not. It's awe-inspiring. You wanna go up there? Yeah. Whoo! Through here you can get a good close-up look of the astronaut and flag. It's amazing. We found it. We found the astronaut and the flag. It is so tiny from up here. This gives you a sense of scale. There is a tiny flag and astronaut in that tiny corner right there. Wow. Whoa. Do you hear the whistling wind? I think that's maybe the scientists. That is so scary. Through these holes in the floor. Ah. And you can hear the wind and you can feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah. It's like blowing up through those. Oh. There's the parking lot where we came in. We just got up to the highest level. I couldn't even film walking up it because I was just concentrating on not falling over. This is the ramp to take up and down to the highest observation level and it does blow you. Look at the flag. It looks like it's gonna just fly out. Look at this, this is amazing. Just incredible. It's one of those things you gotta truly see to believe. Wow. amazing 50,000 years ago wow and the mountains off in the background gorgeous they have an awesome shop i love this one lots of cool stuff great yeah really nice hats nice 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 hats i like the hats it totally when you look at it like this it looks like he's on another planet cool Incredible view. All right. 
Let's to the next spot. Yeah. And we had to come back a little ways on the 40 to see Meteor City. And this was once a trading post on Route 66. And now it has stood abandoned for many, many years, but it's a popular place for people to stop and take pictures and look at. Supposedly, it was purchased in some 2017 and is being remodeled, but it's just crazy. It's always interesting to see these abandoned roadside relics and wonder what will happen to them. Will someone purchase it? Will it return to its former glory? One thing you'll notice as you visit Route 66 attractions is that the ones that are still near enough to major highways and stops off major highways will still be able to stay in business. And even this one though, that's on a major highway, it just has not, but hopefully it will return either way. It's still here and it's incredible. This geodes geodesic dome is incredible to look at. From the road, you see it and it's very striking and you immediately want to pull over and look at it. We also think this is a filming location from Starman, the cafe kind of towards the end that they're eating in right when the police catch them and then they're let go. Uh, you'll know if you know, but there was one blog that said this wasn't it, but it certainly looks like it. Either way, it's named Meteor City after, obviously, Meteor Crater. Oh, look at this. Pardon the dust while we're remodeling. Meanwhile, visit Jack Rabbit Trading Post. We certainly did. And look. Oh my gosh. It's hard to tell if it's just like this because it's being worked on or just like in ruins, but it's pretty amazing to see. There's a little bit of a debate over whether this is the dome that was used in Starman, but the original trading post burned down. And then in like 1979, they built the dome. And then that burnt down. And in like 1991, they built this dome. But apparently some say that the one used in the film was a different dome. Either way, there's domes. They look cool. This is named after Meteor Crater. This whole area is Starman Central. You gotta watch the movie if you haven't. I feel like that movie is kind of an underrated gem that should be an iconic gem. <laughs> we love it. We've been listening to the soundtrack too. It's very synthy 80s spooky vibes. And we love it because my mom loves that movie. Yeah. She watches that movie all the time. Mm -hmm. So. She'll, she's very excited when we're sending her pictures around it. Yeah, close to the heart for us. Yeah, yeah we love it too now. So it's a family tradition, that movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's obviously right off this busy highway. And at one point, there was the largest map of Route 66. And I guess this is the remnants of the largest dream catcher. And now it looks like it has caught all the dreams it's going to catch. This must be it. Yeah, this is it. It used to be a giant dream catcher. It looks like there's a trailer back there too. And yeah, interesting. All right, let's get back on the road. So it looks like there's a casino here. It should be visible. That was the whole point of it, but it has been sitting abandoned since 1995. Is this there it is. Yeah, I see one oh my gosh, that's scary. What in the world is that? The destination is on the left. This is really crazy to see and kind of scary. This is clearly long abandoned. And at one point, two arrows stood, you know, to call tourists in. And now only one remains standing. Apparently, in 2022, one fell due to high winds. And it's been sitting here abandoned since 1995. And it's another similar story, like a lot of other abandoned Route 66 attractions. They were once on a bustling part of the road and due to the interstates and a sort of change in taste and culture, they fell into disrepair, stayed open for as long as they could and then closed and now just sit here 
So they've become sort of a roadside relic. People like to stop and take photos and look at them. But sadly, the stores are no longer open, the shops and stuff, and it's just covered in graffiti, a weird, scary mannequin. And uh, yeah, okay, good enough, bye. Every time we stop at one of these, we see other folks also pulling over to like take pictures and check it out. Respect existence, expect resistance. That mannequin is terrifying. <laughs> There you go. That is what is left of Twin Arrows trading post. Not much, just one arrow. So interesting, the same story with a lot of these Route 66 abandoned things, but they still remain attractions for people to stop and look at just in a very different way. More like relics of roadside America. All right, let's head to Flagstaff. As we're getting into Flagstaff, it's changing, the scenery is changing. All these beautiful trees. Oh yeah, almost at our hotel. Four minutes. This is like a bustling little area. <laughs> bustling, it's crazy with the mountain back there. People on bikes and cars everywhere. Here's our sleep in. Sleep in, Flagstaff. Hopefully we can sleep, but not in, because we got stuff to do tomorrow. What an amazing day that was, that is like a quintessential road trip day. One of my favorite types of days when doing trips like this, where you're driving along and you're seeing all different scenery, things that just look totally different than where you're from, and it's changing all day. And then seeing those sort of historic, abandoned, or still existing, but like from a different time, roadside attractions, getting to talk to people. Everybody was so nice everywhere we went. It was just a really, really fun day. I love it. Those are the days that we remember the most. Just surprising little things and I don't know, just magical. So the cross country road trip continues tomorrow. So stay tuned for all of that. I made a playlist. If you've missed any of the videos, check them out so that you can go in order and see everything we're doing. And you can see kind of like the changes in attitude, latitude. We are getting higher. So the altitude is changing. And we're just, I don't know, it's just so exciting. We're also just riding high on this trip. So let me know what your favorite part of today was. If you'd like to stand on the corner in Winslow, Arizona, that was such an unexpected little thing. And there were so many people there. Anyway, what your favorite part of the day was. Thank you for your love and support on this cross country road trip. This is a huge endeavor for us and we're having the best time and there's still more to come. So. Thanks for hanging out, sending you a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, stay enthused. Bye.